back to the ground here on second and eight. Leaves it with the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Big third down for this defense. Listen, you've got to get the ball back. You know what they're doing. They're trying to run the football, but we need the clock to be on our side so our offense has some time. Got to make a stand right here on third down. Still running at the 40. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. That play is going to drive the head coach absolutely crazy. You've got the lead. Why are you going out of bounds? Just get down and lead the clock. The clock right now is your friend. And a decent game there before the defense makes a stop. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. He leaves it with his back. They ripped off a big one, and they get it down to the 27. No mystery on that play. With the lead, we are going to run the ball. You know it's coming, and we are running right at you, right into the teeth of the defense, and they're still able to get a nice game. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. Man, that's the advantage of having a good coaching staff to teach these players in this type of situation with the lead late in the game. You want to stay in the field of play and keep the clock ticking. They do that after that nice run. They'll switch it up here and look to throw. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. Quite a bit of work to do on third down from the 23, and this D would love to force a field goal try. On the run, it's James. Timeout is called by the defense. A mere 21 seconds to go here. They'll keep the offense on the field on fourth down already with a one possession lead. Desperate to convert, and he'll throw it. Coming after it. And they got him. A sack denies the try to convert on fourth down. He had nowhere to go with the football. Fourth down, you know he wants to make a play. I'd like for him to throw it up, to be honest. Try to give somebody an opportunity to make a play. Who cares if I throw a pick? It's fourth down anyways, but couldn't find anybody to get the ball off. Defense surrounds him, gets him to the ground. Got a lot of running room. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Dropping back, it's Howard. Steps to his left, out of the pocket. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. So this is going to be rife with drama and overflowing with pressure on this field goal try. Timeout is called with just two seconds left to go. The ball is spotted at the 29-yard line. That'll make it a 46-yard field goal attempt for the lead. They'll try to put three on the board as the field goal unit comes on. And this one to put them on top, and it is getting late. It's good! Great from Arnwood, and he gives them the W. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. Guys, that one was a ton of fun to call, and the players, a lot of games sort of wash away in the memory bank. Not that one. That will be an indelible mark in their memory. I agree, Reese. You know, I think back to my career at Florida and just the games that stand out the most were always the ones that went down to the wire, whether we lost or whether we won. For this team, this is going to be a good memory moving forward, David, because of how well they played. Late. Did you lose more of those or win more of those? I'm just asking for a friend. Tennessee, what happened? Hey, uh, yeah, it's, it's big-time clubs, right? These are the ones that define your seasons, define your careers. 